Ian, uh, real quick, this was a, an announcement that came from uh, Limited Run, uh, who are are uh, on the heels of their uh, Lucasfilm, Lucas Arts, uh, Star Wars game releases that came out. Uh, was it the fall? Uh, Dark Forces, uh, th- things like that. Um, they're now releasing. Uh, uh, they also have the Game Boy games, NES, uh, Star Wars, and Punch Back. You now have. I believe this is the first time. Um, I'm a little excited about this. You have official re-releases of Sega CD games coming back. Actual physical CDs of Sega CD right. that you can put in your Sega CD player. They're coming out with uh, a game that's dear to my heart, Rebel Assault, and the game that's dear to your heart, Monkey Island. Um, so th- this is uh, this is to me interesting, just because, and of course, they're going to have their limited collector's editions and things like that that you can get if you don't want the regular version uh, here. But what's interesting is that the, the Sega CD is a console that you know it, it's sort of been uh, I don't want to say lost in that sort of a 16-bit era in terms of people being nostalgic for it because not many people had a Sega CD compared to a Genesis obviously. Right. But it's like how many people want to, want to dig out their Sega uh, CD and play it? But what people, uh, I guess, had to remind you is that, remember, for those first generation of, of CD consoles, there wasn't copy protection to worry about uh, for, for for Sega CD, and there wasn't for um, Turbo CD slash PZ Engine CD, because the, the burners were so prohibitively expensive uh, back in the late uh, 80s, early 90s, that it, would, it wouldn't make any sense to do it anyway uh, back then. So, uh, I, I, I like to see this idea. I wonder, uh, obviously, if you get the limited uh, collector's edition, it's more of a a keepsake than something you're actually going to play, but just but it this opens the door, I think, to potentially even other Sega CD releases outside the Lucasfilm, you know, library. I, I just I just hope we, we see more of this happen because there are people that may want to buy a, a three hundred dollars Sega CD game that would rather buy a fifty dollar or sixty dollar version that someone re releases. Maybe yeah. and maybe this kicks the door open. You have all those working designs games. You know, you have Snatcher. You know, famously in the Sega CD, it goes for what six hundred dollars. Maybe there's maybe this opens the door to that in the future, right? And that and that's the hope. Um, it's also nice looking at these. These were both also PC games originally. The sure. collector's editions um, look to mimic that. Uh, what I see them saying is that they come in a rigid style box, a rigid box. Um, so uh, limited run has done big box. Uh, releases before I have one of them um, silver case suda 51 silver case uh, which got a PC release in a big box but it's just a it's it's not a big box like I think PC gamers think of it's a you know a, it's a soft a soft box it's a flimsier box it opens on one end like a like and you slot and you slide it out these I have a feeling are going to be the I can hear the sound of pulling the top off of one in my head too I think these are going to be the classic like big box style boxes big box PC boxes. like like yeah the the, the, hard, the hard cardboard, cardboard. Not flimsy. Um, and I think that's 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 a neat way to do it's, these collectors editions uh, I don't have the graphic for monkey Island in front of me but it's 75 bucks for the limited uh, collectors edition uh, rebel assault uh, let's see. Playable on your retro console. I wonder if they didn't get the permission to say Sega CD because because when you look at the 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 case has the same color scheme as Sega CD, but you don't see Sega anywhere on it. Right. But it's obviously Sega CD. It says limited run instead of Sega CD, and they have the they have the little Sega seal, which I guarantee you doesn't say Sega if you blow it up. It says something else, probably limited run sure. or something. So, um, it probably would have been nice to get Sega's AOK, but they don't have to, and they probably would have want want money to license even the you know, the Sega CD, you know, brand on there. Right. So you're not going to get that. And it comes with a long box manual. There you go. You get those <laughs> those oversized manuals that are, are lovely uh, there. Let's see. You get the game. You get a, a, a premium book style rigid box on the collector's one, like you said, with foil stamp, uh, individually numbered, manual art cards, a poster. You get a coin and you get a you get an enamel pin. And on the regular one, obviously, you're not going to, you wouldn't be uh, getting that for the regular one. So I'm guessing the regular one's probably going to be... Where's the price on the regular one? We don't know that. Okay. They come up for a sale on the 28th while I'm going to be at PAX East. So I will not be able to get one if I want a Rebel Assault one. Would it be worth checking out the Monk Island one? I... I, I they're... Um, I'm interested, but they are doing a PC release later this year, and that's... You'd rather uh, do that one? That's, that's the one that's I'd rather do. Yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah. Rebel Assault is a game that is not better or worse. Well... 
Sega CD resolution is as good, but uh, the Rebel Assault resolution was good to begin with on the PC. No. It was pretty bad. It was. I mean, it's just a fun game. It's on rails. It's, it's a fun game. Uh, there. Um, and this goes back to people forget that. Remember, uh, uh, was it two years ago when Lin Run produced the replacement Sega CD long cases? Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe they knew this was coming years later, but it, it makes them the perfect people to you know to obviously put these out. What do you think? Do you think that they do like a if they somehow got the rights to like do Snatcher again? That would sell pretty well. Oh, it would sell. It would sell insanely well. Even if most people didn't have a Sega CD, they would just get it as like a keepsake. I think they would get it just in case they ever ended up with a Sega CD. Just in case we ever get that. Um, well, you know, you got you got the uh, you know Poly Mega trying to put out there. Uh, you know, you'd be able to play it on that something like that. Even if you don't get an old one, right? You, you know, there's we're figuring that out. I, I did see as on the side, Poly Mega is uh, doing beta uh, testing. Ooh. It looks like so that's that's finally on the horizon there. So all right, well uh, check it out. Uh, Monkey Island, you got you got Rebel Assault there. Uh, I guess uh, the Star Wars chess wasn't Lucasfilm. On uh, that was a software two works, I believe. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say I would they get one of those for shits and giggles, but that game you can probably get for like seven dollars on eBay. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so that one doesn't count here. 